It's not really a secret that Wild Hearts has a lot of issues. Ranging anywhere from the performance issues it's had since basically the start, which they are currently working on and actually making some good progress and actually making it playable for the majority of people. But there's also a lot of game mechanic issues that I feel like it has that a lot of people don't necessarily talk about. There's the food system that I know a lot of people find to be tedious and not really worth it, which while I agree is super tedious, it is absolutely worth it. There's one that I specifically think of every time I'm playing the game that kind of, I feel like, falls by the wayside, and that is the whole weapon system as a whole. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the weapons are incredibly unique, and coming from Monster Hunter and Dauntless, these weapons don't feel like any of those weapons. I think the closest comparison you can really make is the Kitty Staff and the Charge Blade, because they have a very similar idea, but it still is a far away comparison. It's a stretch to really try to make all of the weapons go into the weapons of Monster Hunter. But the whole system of building up a gauge to get a big hit starts to create a lot of issues in the gameplay flow as a whole. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. In Wild Hearts, during a hunt, you are basically doing a whole bunch of chip damage, which I don't think I need to explain that, but I'm going to anyway. Chip damage is basically small amounts of damage that you do through... I believe it originally started with fighting games if a character is blocking, and if you hit them while they are blocking, they'll take a very small amount of damage, and that is known as chip damage because you are chipping away at their health. So during the hunt, you're doing a small amount of damage with just your normal attacks to build up your gauge to get a large attack or large attack chain in. But this starts to fall apart when you start introducing the fact that Kitty increase the amount of gauge you get between attacks, which is great. But when you are then shoehorned into only using Kitty in your combo rotations and the only way to optimally play your weapon is by spamming out these Kitty so that you are able to get your gauge faster, I feel like that starts to cause a lot of problems. Now, I love the adaptation that Kitty give you, and I love that the weapons have a gauge system. But everything starts to fall apart when you are basically only using your Kitty attacks to get the gauge so that you're able to just do any amount of damage rather than your usual, you know, anywhere from 20 to 100. Whereas the big hits are hitting from 1500 to 10,000. I feel like a lot of this issue does just come down to it's not worth it to attack the kimono normally, just ever. It starts to just become a massive nerf to yourself if all you're doing is basic attack in the kimono to build up your gauge. The only weapons that I feel like don't necessarily suffer from this are the claw blade and the maul. The maul, purely because it just doesn't even have a gauge, it just is all about timing and knowing when you're going to be able to get your big hit in. And while the claw blade does have a gauge, it's more so just to extend the amount of time you are able to stay attached to the kimono. And the claw blade's attacks while attached actually can do a lot of damage if they just have the time to spam out the multiple different horizontal and vertical slashes that they are able to do. But you have things like the Nodachi, the Staff, the Wagasa, the Katana that do absolutely no damage until they get their gauge, do one big hit, or have one period of time where they are actually, you know, online and able to do damage, and then have to redo all of that, re-get back up that gauge. So when a hunt generally should be taking anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes, depending on the kimono, for I would say the average player and their knowledge on the kimono, the Nodachi and Kirikiri staff, they can get their gauge within seconds. So why sit there attacking it with your normal attacks to do the general flow of building up the gauge 
when you can spam out the Ketikiti to get that gauge even faster. And while this does kind of sound like I'm saying the Ketikiti at the problem, I really don't think they are. They add a lot of depth and, like I already said, adaptability to the actual hunts that can make for some really interesting ideas that wouldn't necessarily be possible without them. I think the problem comes from the big hits are just that. They are very big hits that you just want to get to as fast as you can because that's where all of your damage comes from. I think if your damage actually would come from those normal attacks, then it would really not be as much of a problem. Now, all of this being said, there's a couple of things I want to say kind of in defense of that. One, this is from the mindset of someone who plays Monster Hunter from someone who has put a lot of time into Monster Hunter where they don't necessarily have a big hit, but the monsters also have a lot of health. In Monster Hunter Rise, in the end game, a lot of the anomaly grinds that you're doing end up having anywhere from 70,000 to 700,000 health. Those are just rough estimates. I don't actually remember exactly how much it was, but that feels right. Whereas in this, you know, you could do 20,000 and kill the deeply volatile kimono. But I think this also comes into an issue with the player's mindset as well. It definitely, definitely is a big feels bad moment when you build up your big gauge and then just completely get blown away by it. You get your animation cancelled by a smaller kimono, which thankfully they reduced the spawns of those so you weren't dealing with that as much. Or an opening that you thought was an opening then turns into just not being one. They wind up a quicker attack and you are knocked out of your animation, completely wasting your gauge. This doesn't necessarily seem like an issue, but it definitely takes a hit and makes it more frustrating to actually hunt a kimono. Whereas if you just had more damage on your basic attacks, you don't feel like you lost a whole lot. Now I'm no game dev, and I definitely understand that this is an intentional design for how they wanted it to feel more fast paced, but I feel like you absolutely could have made it still be fast paced, but toned down the damage on those big hits and buffed up the damage on the basic hits. I absolutely could be in the minority of this, but I feel like only doing double digit numbers on a basic hit with a full end game build really doesn't make sense and I kind of hope to see that changed or at least moving forward in future games stop seeing such an emphasis on these final hits of building up your gauge but that's just my thoughts <laughs> there's there's a whole lot that I, I guess I could say about this but that's kind of just the basics of it I feel like the normal attacks should just do more damage and I don't think that's wrong to ask for because there's no reason for them to not do more damage. It starts to create this mindset of, well, I just need to get my gauge as fast as possible, so in order to do as much damage as I can, let's spam torches, let's spam celestial thread, let's spam box towers, let's do all of this stuff to get my gauge as fast as possible and then get my one big hit and then repeat. Whereas I feel like if you didn't have that, or at least your big hit really wasn't as make or break for the hunt, but your smaller hits actually did a little bit more damage, you might not be so focused on spamming the Kitty in order to get that big hit. Now there still probably would be people who spammed it, and this isn't like an all-knowing fix or whatever you want to call it, but it's an idea I've had for a little bit about this game, and I kind of wanted to see how other people felt about this as well. So please, if you feel differently or feel the same way or think it's something else contributing to this, spam kitty kitty in order to get a big hit or spam kitty kitty in literate all over the place then you know leave it in the comments i would love to have a discussion with you and kind of start to sit there and talk about a whole bunch of different things i have some plans for some really fun discussion videos one of those being a couple of different weapons that i wish to see in newer iterations of this game whether that be wild hearts 2 i hope to god that actually happens or new content updates because i'm pretty sure they're going to continue making content for this considering they just had an ama but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video uh i didn't go as in depth because i didn't want to just kind of bore you 
as well as, I guess technically without rambling, there really isn't a whole lot to go in depth with this. My feelings are just that. We should have more damage on our smaller hits and less damage on our bigger hits in order to make the flow of combat and the flow of combos in general do more. Now, that being said, there are issues when it starts to come with how fast kimono are getting, but if you did it this way, then those kimono don't need to be as fast. Which is a whole nother discussion about kimono and attacks and attack stamina and all of that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I wish you luck in your talisman grind for those toxic shocks, but... Because, oh, I still haven't even killed the goddamn thing. I'm working on a new build to be able to kill it, but yeah. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.